Okay, so when you log into your website, you will land on this dashboard. Um, so the way that I like to edit sites um, or pages within the site, I go up the top here and remove the wp-admin um, and then press return. And you find that you can see your site as it is. Let me just um, expand this out. It's responsive, so everything moves around to accommodate responsiveness. So I, I like to have always the black um, banner up the top here. So as you can see, there's edit page. So we're naturally on the home page here. And uh, we go to edit page. And we wait a moment till everything comes up. So you can see that your homepage is built up by these various uh, modules that are from the WP Bakery page builder. Uh, and the best way to add the logos to your site is you press on the pencil icon and you'll see here select image from library it's set up as thumbnail uh, so all you've got all the information here to follow uh, so if you wanted to add another one you'll just scroll through here and you'll see Taylor so all the logos have been set up in files that are 390 pixels by 73 pixels so that's the that's the size you want to go by uh, to set them up so that they can continue to work and fit well within this area here so if you wanted to cross that one out you could and um, yeah so that's how you sort out the logos here so that's pretty um, easy to do and save it naturally uh, the text um, heading is quite easy to modify as well. So you just go in there, you keep this as a he um, heading one because your keywords are in here. And uh, so let's say light speed electrical, your local uh, commercial electrician in Sydney. So uh, save changes. We'll go into there to remove that space. And there, save changes. So you find that's um, fine. This is a video player. So the video I've actually uploaded into YouTube on your Gmail account. And that's the video, video link that I've placed into here. And um, I'm just waiting for the developer to uh, set it up so that it's visible for mobile view as well. Uh, and I've made it 60% so it looked um, reasonable otherwise it would have been too big at 100% so again save changes uh, I'm just waiting for you to give me the new calculator so we'll put it into the raw HTML which is the iframe um, and it clearly appears that something's I'd say one of the co code parameters within here have broken or some value is missing for it not to work. That's usually what happens if it's um, accidentally being budged. Uh, so naturally you just go into here for custom heading, into here to edit or correct. Uh, you can see the icon which is in the media gallery as well, the title and uh, the information here so you're welcome to make uh, any change within here but it needs to be kept at those two lines to keep it all fairly balanced and um, ignore that that's been uh, faded out for the moment and the same just going to here I each of these are modules where the items are sitting if you want to change this image 
just ensure that you use the same pixel size of this image, uh, image size 350 by 150 pixels. Um, so it remains the same in this area and it, it's balanced on the home page. That's the content here that, you're, that you can easily modify. And if you wish to add more testimonials, you just go into this section here. Uh, so you have the section for the name, the role, the company. And this is where you place the testimonial. So save change here. Uh, and I'll go into that. And that's another one as well. So I would say you would then go into this to modify the testimonials. Uh, I, I don't recommend um, touching that, just leave it as it is for now. Save change. So I would say there's probably a if you go up the top here, add, um, you click on that plus sign and it gives you all of this. So one of these would be a testimonial block. Uh, that's the one there, Porto Testimonial. So when you set that up, uh, a new one would be placed down the bottom here. There it is. So what you do is you then just um, grab the cross icon and literally just drag it up here and place it into there. And that way then you've got your third testimonial to add in. You open it up and just copy the information that you have on the, these others to get the right styling the testimonial in here and then save. But we don't need that right now, so I'll just um, remove that. And everything else is here. The um, title tag, meta description tags are uh, filled. I highly recommend you don't touch this anymore, just leave it. Because when we start to help with any off-page SEO, uh, we'll be working with combinations and targeting these pages and inner pages. So it's always best to leave that as is. Clients who have changed it at will, um, even though I've recommended they don't change it, uh, they've actually dropped in rankings because it, it breaks um, a lot of the things that we work with. Uh, okay, so that's all done. So we then go to update. That updates the home page and then what I do is I can I remove the text up here or otherwise just click on the link here and that opens up the um, home page to view. So the navigational bar is there, the logos are here, the videos there. Um, I'm looking at this on Chrome so I deliberately um, have my flash player disabled because I don't need it for anything really. All that's working fine. All the copies here and the blog sections down here and that's a widget area. Uh, so that's how you make changes on the home page and how you would make changes on, on the content on any of the inner pages. Uh, let me show you how to add another t um, button here on the main navigational bar. So we'll go to dashboard again. Actually we could go straight to menus. So we'll go to menus and you'll see the main menu structure here. So if I want to add in, these are the most recent pages. So let's do 
um, electrical office fit out Sydney. So I'll click onto that, add to menu, and you'll find it's down the bottom here. So what you do is you literally just pick it up and drag it. So it's under electrical electrical maintenance, but you need to fit it so it's directly aligned there. And then save menu. And again, I'll just remove all this extra code. Go to the main navigational bar and you'll see electrical office fit outs here. So that's how you um, add more buttons to the main navigational bar. All these buttons, I recommend to leave them. It's uh, maybe this one here that you may want to grow in time to come. So for now, we'll go back to dashboard into uh, appearance and menus and we click onto that button there and we'll scroll to the bottom and go remove. As you can see it's um, not there anymore and then save menu. So that's, the, that's how you um, add to the main nav nav navigational bar and menus. Um, sorry about the stuttering. I've had a very big week with so many proposals and meetings, more than I expected. So it's been great, but uh, I like the idea of closing jobs off as I'm creating this video for you now. Um, so when we go to All Pages, and let's say you want to add in another service page, uh, in this case, I like to have um, another tab open. So I'll click on the tab here. So there's two tabs. And then we go to Electrical Office Fit Out Sydney Edit. And it brings then up uh, the, this page up with all these features here. So the way that you would be, um, you go to add new to build a new site. And I would recommend that you uh, follow the build. So let's say, um, we'll call it new service. And then you see here, this is um, the custom heading. So you would go into uh, backend editor, uh, the plus sign, and custom heading, that one there. So it opens up. So we've got custom heading here, which is the first um, item that you've placed within this grey area, which is the page. So when you click on the pencil icon, you'll see the fields open up. What I recommend you do is go to an existing page and we put in custom text and I might copy this and put in custom text. So this is the text to be placed in here that I've copied over. Then we've got head one left, uh, font size is empty and I would recommend just uh, following the same so it is for the text area and then when you finish um, setting up when you finish setting up this whole page to match the other uh, that's when you go into publish and you'll find you'll have a new page in pages so you go to all pages so we'll leave this because I don't want to save that page and you'll find the new page will be um, placed in here somewhere. Um, so there's two pages at the moment of all the pages in your site. And um, yeah, so you go into, for example, if you want to edit your privacy policy, you go to edit. And the page will come up. You'll see that it's uh, composed of um, 
a text block and that's all you need for privacy policy so again you just click onto that and make the changes that you need to in the body copy area so again I don't need to make a change there and that's how easy it is to add pages um, remove pages well you don't ever really want to remove any of the pages Google will be caching all of these pages so I recommend um, whatever you don't want to show on the main navigational bar you just remove it as I showed you but keep all the pages in here and this is where you continue to add new pages so the other important feature is your media gallery so when you go in you click onto media and you will find all the images that you upload for the site um, are here and uh, some of them are doubles because I had to specially uh, create some of the images uh, for your uh, project section so for example you'll find this is a high-res image it's 70, 740 by 740 that's used in the project section and it's always important to put the title in here and also um, place in the alt text that's what Google reads and you want to make it as practical and always include a keyword phrase or what what the application is because there's someone out there bound to search for it through images and a good chance they'll land on your site as a result uh, so if we go back to the site and go into projects you'll find that that was the image that I used here so we go to view project um, and you see the landing page and all the details so we'll go to edit project and the image carousel is here so once you upload the image to the media gallery this is where you continue to add um, so I would recommend I'll click on to this one and you will see that the images are 1140 pixels wide by 430 pixels high and I would recommend making them about 150 in image size um, DPI or, um, and no bigger you might need to use smush it in the plugin to uh, compress it because when you, once you start adding heaps of images in it will affect um, your download speed but that's where you add so you just click on that and you will um, easily add more to the carousel and uh, this is the project page so again you can go easily there and click it here is the information on the project for you to change accordingly and here's some custom headings as well so that's all that's needed there well, again just leave that that's already been optimized for you and so here we are in projects so when you go you click on to projects you will see all the projects that have been placed in your site so so there's six in them at the moment add new to add a new project and then when you go to edit Australia post for example and this is where you will see all the uh, the plus the page builder icons so you do the same again you create an um, add project and do pull up two tabs and follow this add an image carousel put all the specifications in add in a custom heading car um, box then a text block uh, and here is um, cust custom headings this block is probably this gray block area would be an item like not that let's go into this here no that's um, another section that we don't need 
so it would be here structure WordPress widgets portal um, don't think any of that's necessary we just go back into all and it's within here that you'll find the right match so these are all items but you'll find um, it may well be in structure no not structure not widgets portal tour tabs Fence button, info box. No, I don't see it clearly here. So go back into all, go to the page, and edit this column. So it's a column that's been added here. Column. So there may well be something that's called a column here and that's how you add in the columns. You may need to investigate that a little bit further. I, that's why I do use my WordPress um, developers to help me with um, setting all of this up. I'll go to Porto again and see if there's columns here. No, there's nothing that's logical here. But um, yeah, so I'm sure with a bit of patience and looking around, you'll find something that is a column that you can then drag and drop that will automatically create uh, this field here and then this one here that's um, a third so what you need is this initial one up the top here as well so it's a column one horizontal column um, that's holding the image carousel box that you drag and drop and all the features are in there. So I'll finish this video with this information here and I'll do the next video that will show you how to edit and add blogs and maintain that and how to go into your contact page and also how to add images into your gallery. So I hope you found this video useful and um, I will share more information shortly.